Oh, got one, gotta go. Oh, I got one, got one. Got one, yeah, all red. All right, guys, he's excited to use my new rake from Bay Bates. Haven't had a good sand flea rake in a couple years, so. Let's see what we can pull up. Ooh, he's a little soft. Got one, got one, got one, yeah, already. Go, 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 go. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Woo! He under? Yeah, he's under. Good. That did not take long at all. Oh yeah. He's definite keeper. Oh yeah. Alright. Ouch. Ah! Ah! Mmm. Ah. Golly. Got me good with the hook. Ah. Got you good. All right, whoo, point this up a little. All right, 13 to the fork, definite keeper. Get him on ice and get that back out there. All right. Well, the wind just shifted out of the south, so I'm hoping that'll kick it up. Oh, got one, gotta go. There we go. Ah, this is a good one. A real good one. Stay out of that line, stay out of that line. Dang, this is a big one. Come on, stay on there. Got him. 
Woo. Damn, just oh, I thought he swallowed that for a second. All right. Woo! That was a long drought. All right, guys, day two. Uh, yesterday was rough. Two pompano and about almost 10 hours of fishing. So, slept in this morning, decided to come back out here for an afternoon session. So, hopefully we can uh, add to that total. Try and catch some sand fleas and we'll get these baits out. All right, let's get our fish bites out. All right. Oh, let's see, what are we gonna go with? Go with flea. And then shrimp. Where is my shrimp? There it is. We'll do one green and one pink on the shrimp. So we're gonna go shrimp, sand flea shrimp. All right, it's been about, oh, we've been here probably about two hours now. So no bites, nothing. Uh, reeling up, sand fleas are still on the hook. So nothing even nibbling on them. So we got about two more hours before darkness hits. So hopefully these last two hours, I'm counting on that last hour of sun, sunshine to uh, really kick it off. So we're just gonna hang tight. Got faith, it's gonna happen. Oh, got one, got one. Here we go. There we go. There he is. Yeah, come on, come on, keep coming, keep coming. Is that pumping out? Can't even tell. Yep. Woo. All right, got a pump. Don't know if he's a keeper though. Pretty small. Finally, knew the bite was gonna kick on. Let's see here. He is just a hair over 11. I'm gonna let him go. He's gone. All right, let's get more sand fleas, get back out there. All right. About 30 to 40 minutes for, uh, gotta pack it in. So hopefully that bite kicks on. If you guys have ever noticed how I put my rods in the rod holder here, uh, I don't burn them all the way down in. Uh, and the reason for that is if you pompano fish, then you know that the pompano love to swim in, swim at the beach. And so your line will go slack. So if your rod's in the rod holder like this and your line goes slack and your line in like super high visibility, sometimes you don't even see it and your line will be almost all the way down on the beach. So by doing this, what you do, you put some tension after you've got your bait out, put some tension on the rod just enough to where it'll keep your rod from falling down into the rod holder. So what happens is, if your line goes slack, your rod falls down into the rod holder, and you'll usually see that motion, or it'll catch your eye. Or if you look, you'll see your rod all the way down into the rod holder, and you know you've probably got a fish on, or at least you had a fish on. So it's just another thing that helps indicate when you're getting a bite, because you don't always get the rod going like that. Sometimes they hit it once, and then swim toward the beach, and it'll drop in and you'll see it. So 
little tip uh, old timer shared with me a couple years ago that's uh, really paid dividends. So I hope it helps you guys out too.